Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about food science and technology. As we all know, food is a very common term for all of us. It actually performs many functions in our body and keep us healthy and alive. It is a basic necessity of life and must be consumed to sustain it. So we can define food as any nourishing substance in the form of solid or liquid which when swallowed, digested and assimilated provide nutrients and nourishment to the body of living organism. The food provides energy which is required to fuel many activities inside our body and help in building or maintenance of body tissue. But when it comes to civilized man, he does not eat all the food as it is available in nature. He includes many operations like peeling, cutting, crushing, squeezing, cooking or drying etc. to make his food more palatable and durable. Let's take an example of mango. We just not eat mango as it is. We convert it into many products like mango juice, mango pickle, mango jam. So, to convert the mango into different products, one must know about the components present in mangoes and how they are going to behave under different conditions of processing. So, to make it understand, food science emerged as a discipline to provide systematic knowledge of food components, its nature and behavior under various conditions of food preparation or handling operations. Food science also concerned with the overall quality improvement of food product, product so that it reaches the consumer in an attractive, safe and nutritious form. But only the basic knowledge of food components is not sufficient to convert the food into different different food products. One must know how to apply these knowledge. So, food technology is the application of all the knowledge which is generated by food science. It is defined as the application of physics, chemistry, engineering, microbiology and nutrition to the handling, processing and storage of food. All the information generated by food science is used in food technology in different different processes like selection, preservation, packaging and distribution of large quantity of food as its effect the consumption of safe, nutritious and wholesome food. Now we can say that food science is the soul and food technology is the body of any food processing industries. Many institutions offer UG and PG courses in food science and technologies. This subject is made up of several components that include food chemistry, biochemistry, food microbiology, nutrition, sensory science, food engineering, packaging and sanitation. Food science and technology describe whole set of changes through which a food passes from the time of harvesting to consumption. The subject is so vast that it's called multidisciplinary. In food science and technology, two different aspects are recognized. Scientific aspects which provide basic knowledge of food chemistry, physics, biology and technological aspects which provide knowledge of food engineering, processing, manufacturing, packaging etc. These two scientific 
and technological aspects is needed by every food industry to convert its food into different different food products now i am going to give you a brief description of some main branches of food science and technology to make you understand clear as we all know food is a very complex component so food science is a discipline that is involved in investigating the composition structure and properties of food and its component it actually forms a major part of food science it consists of a study of all the chemical and biochemical changes that occur in a food during processing or spoilage after having the knowledge about food chemistry the food handler must know about how various microorganisms affects the quality of food or the interaction of microorganism with food because some microorganism cause food spoilage and food born illness but others are beneficial in food processing and preparation so my food microbiology deals with roles of beneficial and harmful microorganism in food what factors affect their growth how their growth can be controlled method to prevent the food borne illness another branch of food science and technology is food engineering which gives us knowledge about engineering concepts and unit operations used in food processing like heat and mass transfer fluid flow energy balance etc for converting any food into a whole new product there are the need of some processes and equipments and all those needs are get fulfilled by different different engineers several engineers play important role in developing processes and equipments for commercial plants and they also take care of the maintenance of commercial food processing plants and equipments after having all the basic knowledge of food and its components one must know how to process it because without ad- adequate processing food cannot be stored for a longer time food spoilage starts as soon as vegetable and fruits are harvested eggs are laid fish is caught animal are slaughtered for meat and milk is drawn from milch animal so food processing provide us knowledge how to process it how to convert it into a whole new products so it it is basically the application of techniques on the food in a systematic manner for preventing losses packaging storage and distribution to ensure greater availability improve food intake and sanitation procedure this knowledge would enable one to handle food correctly and extend its keeping quality now food can spoil at any stage in its preparation on or on storage so study of food preservation provides knowledge to prevent microbial and chemical spoilage of food and to retain the color texture flavor and nutritive value of food for human consumption it gives information about the processes or ways to prolong the shelf life of food the growing public demand of food different kinds of food has made the problem of serving safe wholesome food more critical and challenging 
this make it imperative for food handlers to understand and implement the basic principles of food science to enable them to prepare and serve high quality products over extended lunch hours so to provide safe and nutritious food one must know all the branches of food science and technology to understand the process more clearly now don't forget to note all the important points hope this video is going to be helpful for you and make you clear what actually food science and technology thank you if you like this video do like share and subscribe